hi hi guys i welcome you to my youtube channel after watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe so today guys i'm just going to do um computer practice theory question paper um and five so without wasting any time let's get into it so our first question is choose the answer and write only the letter so the first one is terminals formerly known as cash registers are often connected to complex inventory and sales computer system so our answer here is point of sales pos it's not data it's not sales it's not query it's point of sales number two which of the following is not one of the four major data processing functions of a computer gathering data it is a major um, processing data it is a major analyzing the data it's not the major then number d storing the data it is a major so the answer to this question is number c analyzing data or information then let's go to number three technology no longer protected by copyright which is available to everyone is considered to be a pro proprietary b open three experimentally d in the public domain so our answer here is number a proprietary it's our answer then let's go to number four. Number four, um, after a picture has been taken with the digital camera and processed appropriately, the actual print of the picture is considered to be, we all know the process, right? We all know the process, uh, 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 collection of raw data, processing, then output. So here, uh, it's not the data its output because already it has been processed appropriately so it is an output which is number b number five the term uh bit is short for number one we have megabytes a it's megabyte sorry b is binary language c it's a uh, binary digit and d it's binary number so our answer here is binary digit number five our answer is binary digit so our number six which one of the following is not an input device which is not an input device we all know input device are those uh, device that put information and here there is another one which is not an input device we have number a it's keyboard number b it's printer number c it's mouse and number d it's monitor so our answer here is printer printer is an output device then we go to seven um abstraction involves one of the following Number A, designing a step-by-step -step solution that can be tested and implemented to solve a problem. Number B, the process of breaking down a complex or large problem into smaller manageable parts. Number three, identifying and concentration on the important and generic information only while ignoring the irrelevant detail. Number C, recognizing and identifying similarities among problems previously solved or modifying existing problems to solve problems. So our answer here on number seven, it's C, identifying and concentration on the important and generic information only while ignoring the irrelevant detail that's the abstraction involved then on number eight the availability of computer technology that can be used by people to communicate over the internet in a daily life we have number eight digital world number b digital citizen number c digital citizenship number d digital technology our answer here is digital world it's a then we go to number nine 
buying or selling of goods and services online. Number A, e-learning. Number B, website business. Number C, e-commerce. Number D, bulk buying. We all know that it's e-commerce. So the answer here is C. Then on number 10, mobile computing has the following main concepts. It has mobile communication, number one. Number two, mobile hardware. Number three, mobile software. Number four, mobile device. So we are going to choose on this one, A, B, C, D. Is, is it one and two, mobile, com mobile communication and device? Or is it one, two, three? A mobile communication hardware and software? Or is it one and four mobile communication and mobile device number d is it two three four mobile hardware software and device so our answer here is b it's one two three mobile communication hardware and software then we go to question um, 11. Which of the following is not an advantage of mobile technologies? Um, is it one can remain connected at all times? One can interact with friends, family and colleagues via social media apps. Mobile devices are, are often costly to purchase and, not cannot, and cannot be easily upgraded or one has a greater access to modern apps and services we all know that the, the, the um uh, the one which is not an advantage of mobile technologies is mobile devices are often costly to purchase and cannot be easily upgraded so our answer here is c so let's go to 12 here on 12 says the following is not a wireless device connection a it's bluetooth uh, it's um it's bluetooth b is status saver c wi-fi d n f c so here our answer is b status saver then we go on the following program is used to manipulate numbers and figures Number one, word processing. Number two, database. Number three, uh, one note. Number D, spreadsheet. So here we all know that to manipulate numbers and figures, we need a spreadsheet. So our answer is D, spreadsheet. Then we go to enables us to tackle complex problem, break them down into manageable parts, and develop possible solutions that can be understood by a computer, human, or both. Our answer here, uh, A is computational, computation, computational thinking. Hey, Compu computational thinking, or information management, online forms, or blogging. So our answer here is A. This word computational thinking yes it's a then the last one is what type of network is the internet is it LAN, pen one or one so here our our um, uh the type of network is the internet it's c it's one so that's it for today i hope you guys will understand like i said if you don't understand please you can leave a a, a question on the comment section then i will assist you have a lovely day